Wow, wow, what do we call this thing? A sea pillow, sea dago? Whatever it is, it's very agile and its navigation is top notch. Well, well, vacuums have the same thing. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nathan, this is Royal Masters. Yes, this is the YouTube channel that covers all the cool well, vacuum cleaners for your viewing pleasures. And today we got something very special. This is the Yeti K700. It comes in a cool hot pink white color scheme with a white remote. And guess what, guys? This has an upgraded camera, gyro system. Could this be the best budget lower vacuum for you? Well, stay tuned to find out because I'll cover the unboxing and the navigation of this little guy. And I want to give a special thanks to Yeti for sending me out this review unit in exchange for a review. So I'll put the links and descriptions down below so you can check them out if you want to learn more about the Yeti K700. Hey, how's it going? Let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed, but before we do that, I'll give you guys some of the specs. So some of the specs on it has 2,000 pascals of section. You also have two power modes, a low power mode, and you also have the high power mode. You also have dual side brushes, also has the electronically controlled bobby pad. The battery... Hey, don't mind me, you don't see me. Oh, Sparkles, um, I'm trying to film here. Yeah, 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 Nathan, I'm pretty sure whatever you jib-jabbering over there is extremely important, and your audience is extremely excited. So keep on jib-jabbering, I'm just going to push my lucky charms over here. Make sure you like and subscribe to his channel so he can pay for my lucky charm addiction. Well, let me know down in the comments how you guys like the packaging of the Yeti. I do like the logo, looks really cool, but I kind of wish they add some coloring to the box. Check out the Shark IQ's unboxing. You can see that their box was super colorful, but this guy is just kind of plain. So, some people may like it, some people may not. If we open up the lid here, I really like the presentation of what Yeti did. You have this greeting card where it tells you some basic features of the robot. Also, there's the customer service number and how to reach them if you have any problems. And you also have the instruction manual. So I highly recommend reading the instructions if you don't know anything about these robot vacuums. There's a lot of helpful hints and tips and tricks if you do have a problem. So for the low price point, I believe this guy is like $29 with the $60 coupon. It does offer a lot of Features. You can see that there's a warranty card and an instruction booklet, which is nicely laid out. It comes in also different languages, so it's a very helpful little booklet. Now, this guy doesn't have app capabilities, but it does have the camera system to help with navigation. Also has a dual gyro system with the optical flow sensor to help you know, determine where it's at and where it needs to be. Let's go ahead and unwrap the K700. You can see the paint scheme is like a rose gold with a white top. Very nice. And let's go ahead and remove the bumper protector. This helps prevent the bumper from moving during shipment. I like how Yeti did provide some instructions and arrows how to remove all the packaging. So that's a very nice touch. Alright, let's see how well the unwrapping sounds. Let's start from the back here. You can see the clear dustbin. Makes it really easy to determine if you need to empty out the dustbin or not. Now, unfortunately, there's no dustbin full sensor or dirt detection sensor on this model so you do have to keep an eye on your dustbin but don't worry this dustbin is fairly large at 600 milliliters this is larger than most uh, vacuums which typically range from 400 to 500 milliliters now you see that the filter is a two-stage filter system and unfortunately the filter is not washable okay it's time to put the dustbin back in just make sure you hear that click Setup is fairly easy. All you have to do is just install the side brushes. Now, the side brushes can go either side of the robot, so don't worry about mixing them up. And it's a very unique design. It has two short brushes and a long brush. So we'll see how well this three-prong side brush system works. Okay, so it comes with two AAA batteries for the remote. Nice little touch. You also have a clean tool to get the hair off the extractor bar. And lastly, we have the electronically controlled bopping system. So out of the box, you get two washable mopping pads. So it's really nice. You don't have to worry about disposable mopping pads or where you can find them. Just basically toss them in your wash and dry. You should be good to go. One thing that surprised me is this system is electronically controlled. And it's also a fairly large water tank at 300 milliliters. There's also an indicator to show you how much water is left over. So that's really nice that they thought of a lot of small little details. Okay, you could wrap the cable around with this charging base. And let's give the wrap a second chance. Also comes with some anti-slip feet, which makes it nice so the charger doesn't move on you. Okay, so here's the handheld remote. So if you checked out my last review video of the K600, the last model, it came with the handheld remote. And it's the exact same design with a fairly simple layout. So this remote has the directional control pad with the play pause. You can do a home, you can do spot, and you can also do edge mode, which is a nice touch. Okay, let's get this guy charged up. Whee! 
this is so much fun. I wonder if this thing can spin any faster. All right, let's go and hide you. Whoa, slow it down, slow it down. Now I'm getting dizzy. All right, let's do some real work. I'm so glad that Nathan has all these well, vacuums laying around. I can actually get them to do my dirty work. Mush robot, onto my secret fort. No one knows about my secret lair. Shh, don't tell anyone. Hey, uh, Sparkles, I kind of need that robot to do my review. Can I have my robot back? Sorry, buddy. This robot's fine now. Go find yourself a different robot to go with you. Dang, this thing's so slow. Can this thing go any faster? Let's go. Yeah, that's better. Keep on moving, robot. Sorry, buddy. This is for unicorns only. Sparkles, can I just get my robot vacuum back? Nope, it's fine. Go away. Okay, I went ahead and got the K700 fully charged. It takes about 4 hours from completely dead up to 100%. And one thing to remember is on the side of the robot, there is a physical power switch. So make sure you turn that on before starting the robot. For this demonstration, I'm going to use an unused dustbin. So I haven't used this robot vacuum yet. Alright, so we're looking at 9.23 ounces for the weight of this dustbin. And again, it can hold up to 600 milliliters of material. Okay, so we're going to put the glass container on the scale and zero out and put about 0 0.8 ounces of Lucky Charm. This represents like the real world testing. Well, I want to apologize for the background noise. I thought the robot vacuum's noise would drown out the background noise, but apparently this guy is not very loud. Even though it's 2,000 pascals of suction, it only runs around 55 decibels, which is a lot less loud than most robot vacuums, which typically run around 60 to about 75 decibels. In this demonstration, I have the robot running on its low power setting. There's actually two power levels, and if you double tap the power button on top of the robot, it will actually go into its high power mode at 2000 pascals. I believe this mode is around 1500 pascals. I call this the chair of doom because this style of chair legs does catch up most of these robot vacuums. Even like the most advanced robot vacuums like the Roblox do get hung up on this type of chair legs. This is called the U-shaped chair leg. Uh, what's unique about it is there's actually kind of like a circular lip. So the front bumper really doesn't catch. So what happens is the robot will actually go on top of the chair legs and can't back out. But we'll see how well the K700 does. And with that camera system, we'll test and see if it can keep track of where it's been and where it needs to clean. Fast forward a bit and it looks like the K700 did a good job figuring out where it needs to go and where it needs to clean. And it's going to continue with its back and forth clean pattern. And you may notice that the clean pattern is slightly off skewed from what my flow plan is. Well, that's because the charger was slightly cockeyed. That was my fault. If you light up the charger perfectly, it won't have this issue. Oh no, is the K700 hung up on this cable? We'll see if it can free itself and continue cleaning. Let's get you guys up close. I do apologize for the shaky camera. Eventually, I'll get a 3 axis gyro gimbal, but I haven't found one that seems to work well with the Galaxy Note 9. It's a fairly large phone, especially with the cover I have on it, so it does put a lot of strain on the gimbals or the motors. So I'm going to continue looking, but eventually I'll have smooth footage for Roll Masters. Looks like the K700 was able to free itself from this cable. And one thing that surprised me, it was able to get onto my shag rug, which is about an inch thick. So this guy does have really good climbing performance. Now I have tested a handful of robot vacuums with different navigation techniques. And this guy is a little bit different. It uses a back and forth cleaning pattern. Then once it's done, it will try to do a perimeter sweep to find new areas. But one thing to know is this guy can do a perimeter sweep on both the left side of the robot and the right side of the robot. Okay, so I do believe that these guys do have some type of wall sensor because it does really well go along the edges. And if it can't see the black furniture, it uses physical bump sensor to help navigate around these edges. The same technique applies to manatees. As you can see, the vision system is not very good, but with its physical bump sensor, it can detect the glass wall. Why would you consider this world well, vacuum? Well, if you're looking for something that's fairly basic, there's no app integration, but it does have a handheld remote that provides all the necessary functions to control the robot. And also the operation on the robot itself is fairly simple. It has a single button to control the power levels and to start and stop the robot. And with that camera system and dual gyro system, it does really well 
handling larger homes. This home is about 2,800 square feet and it did well able to cover all the areas and able to have enough charge to go back to its charging station. Well, I have yet to see a robot vacuum that can get one go around like Bob Shark 2.0. As a bonus, the K700 does have an electronically controlled bopping system. It's a fairly large bopping reservoir at 200 milliliters. Just one thing to know is make sure you bound off all the carpeted areas or this guy will mop your carpets. But according to Yeti, this guy can cover up to 250 minutes of mopping. Okay, we're in my kitchen area. You can see all the table legs and chair legs, which makes it a fairly complex environment to navigate around. Also, I put down some floor mats. So it's about a 0.75 inch uh, Threshold, so the robot did a fairly good job getting onto these floor mats without any issues. And with LiDAR sensors, you may notice that glass panel which may confuse it, but with the camera system, it's not affected by the glass panel. Well, are you still here? Well, if you are, thanks so much for sticking around. I know it's a long video, but I want to cover all the aspects of this Yeti K700. Okay, so I know some of you already left already and that seal definitely fell asleep. Okay, so it looks like the K700 is finishing up with the perimeter sweep. We'll actually do a entire perimeter sweep of the entire area it cleaned. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite well, vacuum is and why you chose that. Is it because you like the functions, the features, the reliability, whatever the case may be. Okay, it looks like it's done. Let's see how well it can return back to its docking station. See how much the K700 picked up. We'll go ahead and turn on my scale and we'll check out how much dirt debris is in the 600 ml dustbin. And I think it did a fair job. Um, despite being quiet and it's low power setting, running around 1500 pascals, you can see all that dirt and debris. So K700 did a really good job picking up this type of material and your mileage may vary. So take these results with a grain of salt. Well, the scale doesn't lie. A perfect pickup charge would have been 10.03, it picked up 10.17, so it achieved 100% pickup. Now, keep in mind that it did pick up some additional dirt debris from the carpeting. You see those carpet fibers. Don't forget to smash that like button if you like this style of videos. Alright, let's go and see how well the K700 bops. Well, it's bopping time, so I got the K700 mopping module with the washable mopping pad. Just go ahead and slap that on, held on by Velcro. And you can dilute it by putting 1 to 100 ratio of chemicals, if you like, with warm water, according to the instructions. Okay, that's it. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name's Nathan, this is Robot Masters. So I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges, I do reviews, unboxings of robot vacuums and different types of cleaning products. So consider subscribing if you like these types of videos, and I'm continuing to do more products once they come available. So with the K700, it has one single water level output, but since it's electronically controlled, once it's done mopping, it will actually shut the water control off. So it looks like the K700's stuck. <laughs> Well, if you have an error, you can see that you can just move the robot to a new area and it's able to pick up where it left off. So I really like the camera navigation system. Here's the results of the mopping system. See how well it can mop up my kitchen. Looks like it picked up a fair amount of dirt and debris that the robot vacuum didn't pick up. Now, one thing to note is it doesn't mop and vacuum at the same time. And here's the water level. Looks like it's almost at 280 milliliters left of water. So it can cover a large area. Well, let's go ahead and wrap things up. The K700 is great for someone that's looking for an easy to use 
for a vacuum with not a lot of frills and thrills. It has an included remote that provides all the necessary features to run a robot vacuum. Also with the smart navigation, it can handle a larger floor plan. This 2800 square foot floor plan, no problem. Alright, be safe out there and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!